Object permanence is a fundamental concept in developmental psychology that refers to the understanding that objects continue to exist even when they are not visible, audible, or otherwise directly perceivable. This idea originates from the work of Jean Piaget, a Swiss psychologist, who first introduced it as part of his theory of cognitive development. Piaget believed that the development of object permanence is a key milestone that occurs during the sensory motor stage, which spans from birth to about two years of age. During this stage, infants gradually learn that objects have a separate and continuous existence outside of their immediate perception. Piaget observed that very young infants act as though objects disappear when they are out of sight, such as when a toy is hidden under a blanket. According to his studies, this behaviour reflects a lack of object permanence. However, as children grow and their brains develop, they start to search for hidden objects, demonstrating that they have formed a mental representation of the object. Piaget's work on object permanence laid the groundwork for understanding early cognitive development and continues to influence psychological research today. Object permanence is an essential part of how humans understand the world. It develops gradually, starting with a newborn's basic reactions to their environment and evolving into more complex thought processes. During the early months of life, infants rely heavily on their senses and immediate experiences. If something leaves their field of vision, they typically act as if it no longer exists. However, as their brains mature, they begin to develop the ability to hold images of objects in their minds. This shift usually occurs between four and eight months of age, but full mastery may take longer. The process involves several stages. At first, infants may only briefly look for a hidden object or show surprise when it reappears. Over time, they become more persistent, actively searching for objects that are hidden. This ability shows that they are starting to understand that objects exist independently of their perception. Object permanence is a critical foundation for other cognitive abilities, including problem solving, memory, and understanding cause and effect relationships. Now let's look at some examples of how object permanence develops and appears in everyday life. One classic example is the game of peekaboo. For very young infants, when a caregiver covers their face with their hands, the baby might think the person has disappeared. But as the child's understanding of object permanence develops, they begin to realise that the caregiver is still there, even when hidden. This realisation makes the game more entertaining and less confusing. Another example occurs during play with toys. Suppose a caregiver hides a small toy under a blanket. If the child is around six months old, they might not search for it, assuming it's gone. However, by ten months, many children will lift the blanket to find the toy, demonstrating that they understand the toy still exists. Object permanence also plays a role in separation. Anxiety. Around the age of eight to twelve months, many children become upset when a caregiver leaves the room. This reaction occurs because they know the caregiver still exists, but are unsure when they will return. It shows that the child has developed object permanence, but lacks a full understanding of time and reassurance. Now let's explore what comes next after the development of object permanence. Once object permanence is established, it lays the groundwork for more advanced cognitive skills. For example, it enables symbolic thought, which is the ability to use symbols such as words or images to represent objects and ideas. This ability is crucial for language development, as children must understand that words stand for objects, actions or concepts. Object permanence also contributes to problem-solving skills. For instance, a child who understands object permanence might figure out how to move an obstacle to retrieve a hidden toy. This type of reasoning is a precursor to more complex logical thinking that continues to develop throughout childhood. Additionally, understanding object permanence helps children develop a sense of security and trust. When they realise that people and objects do not vanish permanently, they can form stronger attachments and learn to navigate their environment with more confidence. This sense of stability is essential for emotional and social development. Overall, object permanence is not an isolated milestone, but a stepping stone for a wide range of cognitive and emotional abilities that shape how children interact with the world around them.